Until version 2019 of ZBrush, all of your subtools had to exist in one long list, just like what we have right now here. That was a challenge to work with and keep things organized, especially if you had a lot of subtools. Now, there's a new feature called folders, which help you keep things in group and modify a whole group of subtools at once. So let's see how it works. So to make a folder, you just have to click on this new folder icon over here. And what you have to do first is that you want to select one of the subtools that you want to be in that folder. For example, I have this demo soldier here and I have his head. Okay, so I will select his head over here and then I will click on the new folder. So as soon as I will uh, create a new folder, it will ask me what do you want this folder to be called. Okay, so here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a of two folders. One is for anatomy and other one for the clothing. So anatomy, I will put all the body parts and clothing, I will put all the other parts and, you know, uh, the clothes and the accessories elements. So here I will create anatomy and press enter here. And you can see that there is a link icon over here. That means this uh, uh, subtool is inside this uh, folder right now. Okay. So what I can do at this stage is that let me close this so I can have more uh, screen or uh, more part over here. So what I can do here is that I can select and drag these all inside this. Okay. How you have to drag, just click on it and drag it and you will see this blue line over here. That means you're uh, bringing that inside. Okay. So I will just simply move, which is quite easy to do. Okay. Uh, now this is the last part, I guess. This is the chest, like the torso of the soldier. Now the whole thing is done. Let me, because I the head got hidden for some reason. Now, my all the body parts are there inside this anatomy folder. And once you have brought these items inside, you can still uh, reposition them. So let's suppose. Uh, if I will go a bit down here, I want the torso on the top of these, uh, you know, uh, objects. Like suppose uh, there is uh, arm and leg, but I want the arm to be under this arm so I can rearrange that. And then I want the torso here to be on the top of these two arms. So I have everything arranged. Now if I will click on this icon here, you can see that it is now collapsed. Now I can do the similar thing. I can go to the shirt and I can make a new folder here and I will call this cloth and I can put all these clothing stuff over here. Mm, that's all. So whatever is active will show this pencil icon over over there. Okay. Oh, sorry. Whatever is, I think, the last one that you have, or sorry, the active one. So you have to just click on it, and you will see the pencil. That means you are just looking at that. So now, once you have folders, you can do some interesting things. For example, you can hide entire folder at once. Like if I will click on the the clothing so all the clothing area like anything whatever is related to the clothing is gone so if i will unhide this one and hide this one so i have to be down here and hide this the whole body is uh, gone okay so the same rules apply here suppose this is hidden right now so if i will go on this one so it will show me the top layer of this folder okay so that's the same rule that we had before like when we because that top layer is usually activated so even if it is hidden if you move it shows the top layer of that folder 
So there's a few things that we can do with the folders. If we click on this little gear icon over here, so you have all these options here. Okay, so you can see that there's a variety of things we can do. For example, we could duplicate this and it will duplicate the entire folder. So here is our duplicate option over here. And we can also do merging two different folders. We can merge together. So we have merge up. We don't have merge down over here. Okay, so and we have the merge folder. So whatever we have inside the folder will be merged. So uh, it works with a merge up, but not with a merge down. So we have only merge up over here. So it works with merging upwards. So what we would want to do in that case is come down and then, you know, to the clothing uh, folder. And we want to combine these two folders into one. So we will just press the merge up. So you can do things like a poly paint or to hide the poly, uh, uh, like a paint on the entire folder at once. And we will uh, we will see about the poly of like we will go into details uh, in the poly paint in our next lessons to see what are the poly paints. Also, we can bo uh, do the boolean inside the folders or a normal boolean or boolean with the uh, like you know auto uh, like subdiv. So you can also merge the folder uh, so all the sub tools get merged into one sub tools just like i told you before with this one so whatever inside the folder will be merged and you can rename any folder i already renamed them i don't want to rename them but suppose if you have renamed them uh, wrongly with the wrong spelling you can do that so uh deleting the folder just get rid of the folder structure it doesn't delete any of the sub tool which is inside. It just deletes the folder and just moves all those sub tools into the root or you can say outside of the folder per se. But if you do actually want to get rid of everything, the folder and the sub tool within it, then you should click uh, delete all. But I don't recommend to do that uh, like, you know, uh, at this stage. But Suppose if you want, you can just delete all. It will delete the folder as well and whatever is in the folder. So that's all fairly straightforward. Don't even need to demonstrate it. That's what you need to know about the folders. They really help uh, me keep everything in order. So I hope it will help you as well. Almost everything I do now goes into folders. So now I know every other software had a ways to keep things organized like this to decades. But it's really great that ZBrush has it now. And it was introduced in 2020 and still we are working in 2021 version. So we do have this as well here. So I hope you have understood about the folders and the use of it. So if you have liked my video, please click on the like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please click on the subscribe button. And uh, also click on the bell icon because I will be posting a lot of tutorials in my next classes. It will help you a lot and uh, help me to get more subscriber and share my videos with your friends watch all my videos online so i can get more watch time hours which will uh, really motivate me so guys take care and we'll meet in our next lesson